Today, we are going to take a posture of peace by seeing with our kingdom eyes. Posture is a short, audible fist bump to remind you God is with you in everything. Together, we're going to be emboldened to take a daily posture of perfect peace. In Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 through 3, it says, Now faith brings our hopes into reality and becomes the foundation needed to acquire the things we long for. It is all the evidence required to prove what is still unseen. This testimony of faith is what previous generations were commended for. Faith empowers us to see that the universe was created and beautifully coordinated by the power of God's words. He spoke and the invisible realm gave birth to all that is seen. Now this week, I've asked a few questions. What are you hoping for? What are you remembering? And today, I want to ask another question. What are you seeing? You know, I spent a lot of my Christian life living as if the supernatural realm, which I had been created from and born again into, just simply didn't exist. I lived by what only my natural eyes could see, and I let what was seen here in the natural dictate my thoughts and feelings and actions and words. It's like I lived as if the created world had more substance than its creator. But of course, I'm choosing to see differently now, and faith empowers me to see with what I like to call kingdom eyes. Now, I've shared before the story in Numbers 13 when the 12 spies were sent out to scout out the promised land. Ten came back reporting only problems. Two, Caleb and Joshua, came back fully convinced of what God had promised them. What they saw with their kingdom eyes put what they saw with their natural eyes in its proper place. The faith they had in God empowered them to see what he had promised them. Giants under their feet and a land in their possession. It wasn't that they didn't see the same problems or the obstacles that the other 10 spies saw. They saw the giants too, but they had more faith in God's ability to come through on what he had promised them than the giant's ability to take them out. Caleb said in Numbers 13, we are well able to take this land. He could see it. He could see them defeating the giants. He could see them taking possession of the land. He could see himself and his future generations dwelling peacefully in the land God had promised. What are you seeing today? What has God promised? Now, if you don't know, a good place to start is John 10, 10. Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it abundantly. Search his word today. There are promises in here for abundance, for healing, for protection, for provision, for strength, for peace, for joy, for a hope-filled future. When you see with your kingdom eyes, you will be like those that they mention in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 39. It says, but we are not those who shrink back and are destroyed, but are of those who have faith and are saved. The promise of perfect peace is found in Isaiah 26.3. In Hebrew, it is shalom, shalom, meaning complete wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken. This is who you are in Jesus because of Jesus. You are a living testimony of Jesus's ultimate win. With every step you take today, you're putting Jesus's victory on display and Satan's defeat on replay.